morning. I'm Jim Goldstein and I'm here in foggy, foggy San Francisco. And I am toying with the 800 milliliter, or not milliliter, <laughs> 800 millimeter lens. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but way off in the distance is the Golden Gate Bridge in the fog, which is very unusual for this angle. And uh, way off in that direction is uh, Transamerica building, which we can't even see from here. But with this uh, telescope of a lens, uh, everything comes into view. So let's give it a, a whirl and uh, we'll see what we can, uh, what, or at least I'll see what I can show you. So here's the lens uh, on the Wimberley tripod head and the side view, nicely lit. And uh, the lens was lighter than the 600 millimeter Canon lens that I've used in the past, but still it was pretty nice using it with the Wimberley. <clears throat> Looking at the Golden Gate Bridge way off in the distance, it filled the uh, the frame nicely with the bridge. Uh, this was at uh, an 800 millimeter uh, focal distance, so no extenders on there. And then looking off in the other direction, uh, you we, you could see the Transamerica building, although it was really, really fogged in. And then looking back at the Golden Gate Bridge a little bit later with a little bit different light, again, filled the scene nicely and still made use of the fog shrouding the base of the bridge. Looking in a completely different direction, I uh, wanted to see how much detail I could capture with the lens. And again, at 800 millimeters, these are tourists on top of uh, Twin Peaks. On the other side of this hill is downtown San Francisco. So to give you an idea of the different options you have with extenders, this image is of uh, the Waldo Tunnel in Marin, actually the Marin Headlands, at 800 millimeters. And here is another version of it with a 1.4 teleconverter on there. So that brings it up to about, uh, I don't know, 1100, 1120 millimeters or so. And then swapping out uh, that extender for a two time extender, this uh, shows what's possible with the two time uh, extender. Now the, the downside to this, this day was that there was quite a bit of atmospheric distortion, but ultimately gives you an idea of the magnification capabilities of the lens. And without the fog, this is the view of the Golden Gate Bridge from this very same viewpoint. Now, a, a little later, I uh, went over to the Legion of Honor uh, when the weather was a little bit different. I, I kind of had a tough time with the weather this one weekend that I was using the lens. So this is about the extent of my wildlife photography, uh, unfortunately. And this blackbird uh, was basically at the edge of uh, the nearest focal distance of the lens. And there's quite a great deal of detail. This is, I believe, at 1600 ISO. And it's really sharp, not too much noise. And then looking up, there was a red-tailed hawk hovering into uh, the clouds. So it gives you an idea of how far away uh, that hawk was. I think this may actually be uh, at 1600 millimeters. And then also to give you an idea of um, the, uh, the magnification of the lens, this is um, St. Ignatius Church. Again, that's St. Ignatius Church, which a lot of people can recognize uh, when they visit San Francisco and uh, at sunset. And uh, the interesting thing about this was that uh, it's about, and again, I didn't really mention this in the previous uh, photos, but at 800 millimeters, a lot of these uh, subjects are about four miles away. So it's a great deal away. And the great thing about this lens also is that it gives you the option to create some very interesting abstracts. And uh, here's one with a full moon uh, that's peeking through two layers of storm clouds at sunset. And uh, a little bit more of your your standard view of, uh, of the moon. Overall, the lens was great. Um, I would definitely rent it again. I don't know that I could afford it but I really enjoyed using it, and uh, I really regret that I didn't get a chance to use it more with wildlife. I did get to use it from a panning perspective, but because of the weather and air conditions, uh, the photos really weren't worth showing. But the ease of use with the lens was great. Uh, the image stabilization was excellent, and the overall sharpness was uh, very, very good. So I, I would recommend it. I will definitely be using a lens again. If you happen to have any questions about the lens or my experience with it, be sure to visit my website uh, or my blog at jmg-galleries.com and uh, be happy to uh, uh, get your feedback and to share my experiences.